A new, a new children's book entitled Molly Warner, School Reporter, is the brainchild of journalist and reporter turned author Dan Kilday. Kilday may be familiar to many of you, having worked in the Tri-Cities in the past, and this morning we welcome him to Daytime Tri-Cities. Dan, welcome back, buddy. Thank you so much. It's good to be here. These are your old stomping grounds. Kind of, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm, uh, everything kind of feels familiar. I remember going on uh, football Friday nights yeah. with you on the yeah. sidelines, shooting right. some games. So yeah, it all feels familiar to I'm me. I'm still doing that. Yeah, so. good. It's uh, fun, right? And I love the fact that you've jumped into to writing children's books. Yeah, it's been a, a really neat adventure. In fact, I, I apologize for sounding like a bullfrog, but I've been doing so many of these school visits in East Tennessee this week that I've lost my voice a little bit. So um, I apologize for that. But yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Um, you know, I, the, the response to the book has been really good, and, and I've enjoyed getting to meet all these kids all over the area. Well, tell us, give us a little synopsis of what Molly Warner's School Reporter is all about. So Molly is a sixth grader, right. and as you may have um, been around some of these, she's a bit of a gossip, Right. okay? So she likes to share information, and right. um, the school principal, rather than punishing her, decides, you know what, I'm going to put you on the school newspaper staff mm -hmm. and use your talents for good, so to speak. So um, she joins the school newspaper staff, and, and hilarity ensues from there. And you, you got it's the message you're getting across here is just you got some stuff in there about freedom of the press. There's some other messages in there. Absolutely, yeah. I wanted to get um, some important conversations started right. um, with kids in particular right. with um, with the freedom of the press and just some journalistic tips and tricks and things like that. But yeah, you know, freedom of the press in our society is very important, as you right. know. And yes. I wanted to just kind of convey how important your job is. You're you know you're asking questions to people, right. and that's very 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 important in our society. So I wanted to convey that in sort of a kid-friendly way. Your background as a journalist and a reporter and being in different fields like that, it, it was that, how helpful was that when you started writing the oh, book? Oh, it was extremely valuable to right. kind of take some of those lessons that I've learned along the way and put them into this book. Um, you know, I, I picked up a lot of things that um, were important to me. Mm -hmm. um, I wanted to maybe encourage some young readers who read this book to maybe think, you know, I could be a reporter, I could right. do that. Um, I've already had a number of kids in these elementary and middle schools that I've visited tell me that, that, you know, mm -hmm. I want to be a reporter, this sounds like fun. And it is a lot of fun, but right. there's a lot of important things you need to know um, before you get into that field, as you know. Are you looking to maybe flesh this out, make it a series? Absolutely. In fact, I've already started kind of outlining what the next book will be. Mm -hmm. um, it'll be more TV oriented because ah. that's what I know, right? right. So um, I'm, I'm looking forward to maybe getting that started here once once the book tour starts settling down a little bit. <laughs> and you know, you, you said you've been speaking to kids and everything. What has been the reception of the book? Have you gotten a lot of kids that have read the book or are you getting the word out about the, it? The, the, res, the response has been very positive, which right. of course makes you feel good. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I've really enjoyed hearing um, stories from kids about how much they enjoyed the book and you know it's it's one part comedy it's mm -hmm. you know Molly is a very silly girl um, but it's also part mystery you right. know there's you know she's trying to figure something out and, and it, again those lessons about journalism are in there as well and you know for you I mean this this is a kind of a, a departure from where you were in life and you <laughs> went a different direction <laughs> Is it a good transition for you? Oh, it's been a lot of fun. You know, I'm a father now, so right. I, you know, the, the last time I saw you, I was not. So, you know, that's, I think the that's last time I saw you, I was not either. <laughs> okay, so that's, that's one big change for both of us. Right. So, you know, it, it's, um, it, it was something that I wanted to do for my kids. Right. Um, and I wanted to sort of let them know, this is what dad used to do, you know? Yeah. And, and I wrote a book that, that sort of had something to do with that for them. And, I mean, putting pen to paper, I mean, or sitting down in front of your, your computer right, and writing a right. book, a whole lot different than sitting down and writing a script for news. I mean, did you have to get a whole new mindset? I, I guess so, but, you know, you're still kind of organizing right. you, what you want to say, and you're still organizing your thoughts, and, you know, what message am I trying to get across here, and, and what order do I want to put things in? What's most important to get right. out there? And um, for me, the most important thing was, obviously, you know, we talked about those journalistic lessons, but right. I also wanted to make it funny and entertaining, right. and, and, and so th that was important to me as well. All right. Dan, appreciate you, buddy. Thank you so much for having me. We've got some information right there at the bottom of the screen. If you're interested in this book, appreciate you making the trip back to the Tri-Cities. Thank you for having me, sir. All right. All right. We'll be back in just a few moments.